The resort island of Jeju is the perfect test bed for new traffic innovations. Its self-contained, relatively uncongested road network already has the latest in smart systems, such as allowing emergency vehicles to cut through traffic as demonstrated in this recreation. A pregnant mother being raced to the hospital with the same high drama impact as a Korean soap. And the central control room is able to monitor devices installed on thousands of hire cars driven by tourists, which are being used to develop the next wave of innovation. The vehicles are able to send and receive information through the central system and between each other. So drivers can be told in real time of dangers or obstacles on the road ahead, or of pedestrians on the next crossing. This system makes it possible to provide real-time information and respond quickly to developing situations. It makes the roads and the vehicles using them a lot smarter. Pioneering work between the local police and a national telecom provider that could be adopted for use throughout South Korea. This technology not only allows for more efficient traffic flows in the present, but also opens up the future possibilities of vehicles talking to each other as we move towards transport systems that could one day be fully autonomous. Like other technology companies, this autonomous driving software developer has been working largely uninterrupted through the pandemic. It's been experimenting with pilot projects on Jeju's roads, with the goal of soon introducing the first door-to-door -door commercial service here. Autonomous vehicles should be able to operate by themselves. This communication infrastructure provides a high degree of information which makes driving safer. With an exchange of information between vehicles, this system is a necessary step towards the next generation of autonomous driving a driving future that might not be too far down the road. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Jeju Island, South Korea.